What's going on, people? This is Ty Shirase for Computer Music Academy, and welcome back to CMA Answers. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to multi track with Contact 5. I showed you how to do this with Sample Tank 3 in a previous episode, and fortunately, it's a lot easier with Contact 5. The reason this is possible is because Contact, Sample Tank, Omnisphere, and many other instruments are what you call multi timbral, meaning you can have multiple instruments or sounds playing within the same plugin at once. You can also have those sounds rattle to individual outputs. At the moment, I'm working on a beat only using Contact 5. Let me show you what's going on here. Track one, I'm using Drum Lab for the drums, of course. Track two, I'm using a pad from Retro Machines. Very nice. Track three, I'm using a bass from the Contact Factory Library. And on track four, using one of my favorite instruments of all time, VI-1. And since this is one of my favorite instruments, I'm using it twice for another guitar. Very nice. Now what I want to do is add a synth to complement what's going on already. So I'm going to go to the Contact Factory Library and down to Vintage, Analog Machines, and Innocent Tube. Here we are. And I'm playing my MIDI controller, but there's no sound. One because I haven't set the MIDI channel for this particular instrument. And two, I haven't created a MIDI track within Ableton to trigger this instrument. So let's open up the interface here and go over here to MIDI channel. This is where you actually set your MIDI channel. Fortunately for me, it's already set to channel six, but if you ever need to set it on your own, you just come here, select the part, select the channel, and boom, done deal. Now let's go over to Ableton. Create a MIDI track and keep this in mind. There's one instance of contact on the first channel. So I'm coming back here, go down to MIDI two, set it to track one, which has contact. And down here in track in, we're gonna set this to channel six. We're gonna set up the monitor, arm the track. Very nice. Before I go any further, let me turn off the solo, turn on the fat. I'm gonna go up here, press record. All right, let's open this up. Set the monitor back to auto. And of course, I can set the uh, volume right here. And I can set the panning, so let's move it over here a little bit. And that's it. And yes, it is that simple. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for more reviews, tutorials, and exclusive courses, make your way over to ComputerMusicAcademy.com. See you next time.